Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Domusake. Today we'll see one of the SQL interview questions. Okay, see, this is, I'm having one table. This having three columns and three requests. Column A, column B, column C. 100, 200, 100, 200, like this data is, okay. But my requirement is that what, okay, I want to get, see, 100 is getting two times, 200 is getting four times, 300 is getting three. So in a sense, like what, okay, this is my input. I want to get number of occurrences of 100, 200, 300. Okay, it will be, Two two hundred are there, and two hundred four are there, and three hundred three are there. Okay, so this is my input, and you want to get the output of this. Okay, so now I'll try to explain the logic. Okay, so this is my input table. So first of all, what should do? What we should do? So we should take the first column A and plug with the second column. So third column. Okay, one more time. Now we are. This is my input table. It's having three columns A, B, C. Now I'm taking the first column, clubbing with the second column. Clubbing with the third column, say so column A, column B, column C, under 200, 100, so 200, 300, 200, so I'm clubbing. Okay, now next step is that what I want to group. So 100, 100, I want to group as one thing, 200, 200, I want to group like this, so that is we can have it. Okay, now what happened at last? We should find the number of occurrences. Okay, so this is my table. So by using how can I club, by using what? By using union all, we can able to club one column with the other columns. Next step is that what I want to group 100 related to 200, 300. Okay. So by using group by, group by concept and how to get these occurrences will go for count functionality, number of functions. Okay. So, so this is what this is set operators. So this is group by functionality and this is group by and count functionality. Okay. Hope this is clear. So like this, okay, if you get any requirement, try to do like this analysis. Okay. So split the, split the complicated task into small things so that we can able to understand the logic. Okay. So this is set operators group by class and count functionality. Okay, so if you want to solve all the requirements, you should have better understanding of the following concept. What the concept we are having? So DDL, so one second. Okay, you should know how to create a table, insert some data, how to fetch the record like DDL, DML, okay, so DRL, okay, next concept is that one, okay, column alias, okay, one proper column name, so union all, one of the set operator, count, it is used to, okay, aggregate function, so group by class, and CT, common table expression or with class, okay, so see, if you understand this concept, it's easy, okay, if you know how to create table, selecting data, column alias, Set operates a great function. So group by class and com comment with class. Okay, if you know this concept, it is used to understand the requirement. Okay. So that's why I'm saying, okay, if you try to solve this type of complicated logic, so that what we can able to get, we can able to logical things will get improved. Okay, now we log into the application. We'll try to create one, one table and we can able to work upon it. Okay, now I'm trying to create one table. So table has been created successfully. Next step is that what we need to insert some data. Okay. So three requirements. Okay, now we will need to select the data. How can you select data by using select DRL data retrieval line? Select to start from so first. Okay, now see what happens. So see once so data has been developed. So, so A B C. Now what's the requirement? Okay, now we are having three columns. Now we want to club into separate separate columns. Okay, how can I do? So see column A. So this is the column A, same copy the same thing. So put column B, same thing, column C. Okay. Now what happened? This is one result set, this is one result set, this is other result. Now how to club all the results set? Did you go for what? Even and all, that is set of operator, okay, see? Now, so see the same thing, okay, so six records are there. Again, try to combine by using even and all. So remember one thing, if you want to combine two or more select statement, We'll go for set of operators. Okay, that is UNLC. Total nine records are there. Next step is that what? Next step, okay, I'll put the same. Step by step, we should come. Okay. Next step is that what we should? Next step, we should do group by. Okay, how can you group? Group, we'll go for like we need to put 100, 100 as one group. We'll go for what? We should go for like group by. Now, what happened? We should write one more outer query. Select start from. So this one will access one, one table. Okay, so see the same thing. So from here to here, okay, this will access one table, select star from, now what we need to use, so we should use one proper, okay, sorry, we should use one alias, I'm putting some column alias. So, okay, so I'm putting column, so take this column alias, put here, okay, you now, so this, you now what I'm saying, next one, so I want to get 100, 100 as group, how can I group, we should go for group by call, okay, so see this, see what happened, we're getting 100, 200, 300 as one group, and how can you get number of friends? We'll go for count of 
star. Take out the pointer. So 100 to 403. Okay, it put one for upper alias. Occurrence. Okay, got the pointer. So like this. So, you can. so clear. So now if you're not able to follow, one more time go back. So first step is that to what okay, we should see the data. So see what the data now first see select the stash. Now. It is having having what okay, three columns A, B, C. Now I want to take this B, I want set it and put in single column. How can I put single column? We'll go for what? We'll go for which console by using set of that is union. Okay. 100 to 100. Now, next step is that what we should group by. So, before now, what happened? I'm putting one column alias. Okay. Now, I'll go for with class with the CT common table expression as. So, this entire result set will access one table. So, select call from CT. Now, CTC. So, this entire result set will access one table. So, from here, this will access now CT. Next step is that what we should do. So I want put three and as one. We can go for group by class. So group by so column. Now see 100. Now I want to get occurrence. We'll put from a count of star. So follow the coding standards when you're writing. So it's a simple and easy. So see this one. 100, 200. When I'm putting one column alias, okay. Occurrences. The column. So go to the pointer. So like one more time, go back here. So first step by step, create whenever getting any requirement, try to create data, try to insert some data. Next one, what see the table. Okay, so see the table. So we are data engineers. We should see the data. Then what happened? Okay, so I want to take the same thing like this. I can put and we should take the same thing and we should do step by step. Okay. Obviously, let us set up patterns, group by class, and common function. And one more thing is that common table expression we are taking. And obviously, okay. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.